Alright, in this video we're going to look at a way of multiplying referred to as the Russian peasant method. And I haven't researched um, too much on the history here of this multiplication style, but I'm, I'm guessing that it originated in Russia. And perhaps I'll do another video uh, more about that and about why they did this. But in this video, we're going to look, up, look at how you use the Russian peasant method and why it's quite awesome mathematically. So what we're going to do is we're going to multiply 32 by 14, except the way we're going to try and do that is by having the first number and doubling the second. And we're going to keep do, doing this until we reach a really nice step. So let's do that. If we have 32, what do we get? Well, we get 16. But we want to balance that out. So we double the second number, and we make that 28. And if you think about the logic here, let's just sketch this out on the side. If I was to do 2 times 4, that equals 8. But if I have the first number, what does that mean? That means well, I divide by 2, so I would get 1. Well, what do I multiply to still get 8? Right? Because we want to keep these equations the same. Well, it's what we do here in the Russian, Russian peasant method. We double the second number. So 1 times 8 is 8. Right? We take that 4 and we double it to 8. And to balance it, we take the 2 and we have it to 1. Or we can half first and then double. But either way, we're always staying balanced. And that's the idea of this, of this process right here. So we keep going. Can I half 16? Yes, I can get half it, get 8. And then I just double 28 to get what? Well, 28 times 2 is 56. And then I keep going. Can I half 8? Yes. If I half 8, I get 4. If I double 56, I get, well, what do I get? I get 112, right? Because 50 times 2 is 100. 6 times 2 is 12. So it's 112. And I keep going. If I half 4, I can half it to 2 and double 112 to what? Well, 224. And then I go one more step. Can I half 2? Yes, I can half it to 1. And 1 times what will be the same as all of these other expressions above? Well, we should double 224. And what do we get? We get 448. And that's really nice because now 1 times 448 is what? Well, that's just 448. And that means all of these equal 448. So what did we do? Well, we found the answer to our very first expression, which was 32 times 14. Right? It has to be the same thing as this equation down here because, well, we just halved the left side 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 times, but also doubled the right side 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 times. So these two equations are equivalent. And that's the basic sense of the peasant method. Let's try one more like this. 64 times 12. Again, I'm just going to half these each time on the left and double the numbers on the right. And I'm doing that because I want to rewrite this expression into a much easier format. Okay, so 64 halved is 32. 12 doubled is 24. Okay, so I've changed it, but still not so easy. 32 halved is 16. 24 doubled is 48. 16 halved is 8. 48 times 2 is what? That's 96. 8 halves is 4. 96 times 2 is what? Well, think of 90 doubled. That's 180. And 6 doubled is 12. That's 192. 4 halves is 2. 192 doubled. Well, what's that? Well, think of 200 being doubled, right? 200 times 2. That, that's 400. But we only had 192. And 192 is 8 away from 200. 
So what I'm saying is to figure out 192 doubled, and let me just move this here. Oops. To double 192, we can think of it as being less than 400. In fact, how much less? Well, 16 less, because two 192s would have 16 less than, than two 200s. Why? Because, well, each 192 has 8 less than 200. So if we double 200, right, 200 plus 200, that equals 400. But really, we should be doubling 192. This mystery number here needs to be 16 less than 400 because both of these numbers are 8 less than 200. And what number is that? What is, what is 16 less than 400? Well, that's 384, right? That's 16 less. So we're almost done, 384. And last, we can go one more step. 1 times what? Well, I'm going to double in a different way now, if you didn't like this right here, if that annoyed you. To double this, we double 300 to get 600. We double 80 to get 160. And we double 4 to get 8. If we add these up, this plus this is 760 plus 8. So now we get 1 times 768. And that's our answer. Because 1 times 768 is just 768. So in fact, we've even solved our first expression.